In the picturesque countryside of North Yorkshire, a sinister tale lingers, casting a shadow over the charming landscape. An ancient curse tied to a seemingly ordinary object has left a trail of death and despair in its wake. Welcome to the world of the paranormal, where fact and fiction blur and the unexplained defies reason. In today's Curse Collection video, we delve into the chilling legend of the cursed chair of Thomas Busby, a dark legacy steeped in betrayal, murder, and ominous warning. Join us as we journey through time to uncover the truth behind this malevolent artifact and explore the unsettling accounts of those who dared to tempt fate. For some, it was a harmless prank. For others, it became their final act. Are you ready to step into the shadows and face the mysteries of the Busby Stoop Chair? <laughs> Our story begins in the small town of Carlton Miniot, just three miles from Thirsk in North Yorkshire, England. It is here that the infamous Busby Stoop Inn once stood, a coaching inn steeped in dark history and home to a deadly curse. Not far from the inn, we find the ancient farmhouse known as Denati Hall, named after its original owner, Daniel Audi. This seemingly innocuous setting will become the birthplace of a tragic and twisted tale of love, betrayal, and revenge. The tale begins with Thomas Busby, a notorious drunkard and thief who lived at the Coaching Inn. When he met and married Elizabeth Audy, daughter of the coin clipper Daniel Audy, their lives became entwined in a dangerous and illegal partnership. Together, they forged coins in a secret room in the cellar of Donati Hall unbeknownst to the local authorities. As time went on, Busby's drunken rages strained his relationships, leading Daniel Audi to make a fateful decision. One night, Audi entered the inn to forcibly remove his daughter and end her marriage to the violent Busby. Elizabeth, however, would not leave her husband and, in defiance, waited for his return. Audi, meanwhile, sat in Busby's favorite wooden chair, unknowingly igniting a deadly conflict. When Busby discovered Audi in his chair, a brutal fight ensued. Elizabeth pleaded with her husband to calm down and reconcile with her father, but Busby's rage could not be quelled. That night, he returned to Donati Hall and, using the same hammer they forged coins with, bludgeoned Audi to death. Busby then dragged the body to the nearby woods, where it was eventually discovered. Busby's trial was swift and decisive. In 1702, he was found guilty of murder and sentenced to hang. His body would be coated in pitch, a type of resin, and displayed in a gibbet cage at a crossroads, serving as a grim warning to all who passed by. But before the noose tightened around his neck, Busby uttered a chilling curse. Death shall come swiftly to anyone who dares sit in my chair. In the years that followed, the inn where this dark tale unfolded underwent numerous changes, eventually becoming the Japer Spice Restaurant. Although all references to the legend were removed, the curse's sinister reputation persisted. Donati Hall also stands to this day, a haunting reminder of the man for whom it is named, Daniel Audi. Now a private residence, access to the site of the gruesome murder is restricted leaving us to wonder what other secrets may lie within its walls. If you're enjoying the content so far, then consider liking the video and subscribing. Press the bell notification to never miss an upload. With the passage of time, the cursed chair of Thomas Busby became the subject of numerous stories and deaths, some of which can be verified, while others remain shrouded in mystery. One of the earliest recorded incidents dates back to 1894, when a chimney sweep, unaware of the curse, sat in the chair, only to be found hanged the following day. During World War II, the chair's ominous reputation spread among the Royal Canadian Air Force personnel stationed at a nearby base. As the legend goes, all known airmen who dared to sit in the Busby Stoop chair never returned from their missions in Germany. This macabre game of daring one another to sit in the cursed chair would have tragic consequences. In 1968, Tony Earnshaw took over the inn, initially dismissing the stories surrounding the chair as mere hoaxes. However, 
His skepticism was soon challenged when he witnessed two soldiers from a nearby army barracks die in a car crash minutes after sitting in the chair. Still not entirely convinced, Earnshaw's belief in the curse was cemented when a builder fell to his death after being dared to sit in the chair. Determined to prevent further misfortune, Earnshaw moved the chair to the inn's basement. Upon researching the inn's past tenants, he discovered a pattern of similar incidents, each involving local families with tragic outcomes. The final straw for Earnshaw came in 1978, when a brewery inspector, unaware of the curse, sat in the chair and later died in a car accident. This prompted Earnshaw to donate the chair to Thirsk Museum, with one crucial stipulation. The chair must never be used again. Since its rehoming in the Thirsk Museum, the legend of the Busby Stoop chair has captured the attention of both local and international media, further fueling its mystique. From newspaper articles to anime, the tale of the cursed chair continues to captivate audiences around the world. This widespread coverage has undoubtedly impacted Thirsk and the surrounding area. The town has become synonymous with the chair drawing curious visitors and paranormal enthusiasts who seek to experience its dark history firsthand. The legend of the chair has put our town on the map, for better or worse. While some might see it as a macabre attraction, it also brought tourism and a sense of intrigue to our community. In 2004, a Japanese film crew visited Thirsk Museum, intending to create their own documentary about the mysterious Busby Stoop chair. However, they found themselves facing an unexpected hurdle. The documentary team were under the impression they would be allowed to sit on the chair, and were quite determined to do so. When their request was denied, they filed a complaint with the local council. The Japanese crew, seemingly undeterred by the ominous curse, continued to pester the museum, even asking museum owner Cooper Harding about the penalty for defying the museum's rules and sitting on the chair. Their response? The only penalty for sitting in the chair is death, a reference, of course, of the curse. This incident serves as yet another testament to the deep-rooted fear surrounding the Busby Stoop chair. Even today, people from around the world are drawn to its dark history, only to be turned away by the chilling prospect of its deadly curse. The question remains, is it merely superstition, or is there a genuine force of malevolence at work? Today. The Busby Stoop chair remains in Thirsk Museum, displayed high on a wall to prevent anyone from sitting on it. But the chair's authenticity has been called into question by furniture historian Dr. Adam Bowett, who suggests that the spindles may be machine-made, unlike the handmade pole lathe crafted chairs from Busby's time. If this is true, it could mean that the chair in the museum has no connection to Thomas Busby at all. Perhaps Thomas Busby was not the creator of the curse, but just another victim of a much older and darker force. In the end, the legend of the Busby Stoop chair serves as a chilling reminder that there are forces in this world that remain beyond our understanding. Are these tales of death and misfortune merely folklore passed down through generations, or do they hold a darker truth? As we walk the line between the paranormal and the unexplained, one thing is certain. The cursed chair of Thomas Busby will forever cast its shadow over the quiet town of Carlton Miniot and the hearts of those who dare to believe. And that, my fellow seekers of the strange, concludes another eerie journey into the world of the paranormal, cursed items, and haunted locations. If you're eager to explore even more chilling tales, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell notification icon. Until next time, take care.